What is up guys, welcome back to my channel, GG4X here, and on today's video, we're going to be going over what's going to be my trading plan going into 2021. It's January the 4th tomorrow, so I want to go back to work. It's been a very nice break, okay, it's been a very nice break from my 9 to 5, and I've kind of like lived kind of where I want to be in 2021. I've not gone to work, I've been studying the charts, and I've kind of made real progress just by having an extra 9 hours a day. It's amazing what you can do with that extra time to hopefully you guys are taking advantage of your Christmas breaks and then going back into your nine to five a lifestyle. You can like use that as motivation to then make this a thing and make it happen and then move on. But on today's video, I'm going to be going over my trading plan and how I want to attack the markets and how I've managed to back test my strategy. Now, my strategy is very hard to back test. It's it's very a forward testing strategy, as in you kind of have to test it when the markets are live to see if it works. Um, purely because I use a lot of high time frame analysis, and it's easy, it's not easier, but it's more possible to do that when it's live. But I've managed to kind of like bodge it in a way to understand price action in certain areas so I can get that pattern in my brain. So when it is live, I'll be able to understand it faster, excuse me, know what to look for in those key areas and know where to put my entries in those key areas and stop losses. And where am I more successful and where am I least successful with pairs, etc. like that. Like what pairs behave how I want them to behave, if that makes sense, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on trading view and do the rewind thing. Obviously, if you guys have free trading view, you can't do this because you need to pay for it. So it's another expense. So if you don't want to do that, don't bother. There is other ways to do this. But when I see charts moving, it just triggers in my brain a lot easier. Okay, so I'm studying, studying, studying. So what I'm going to be doing is rinse and repeating this for the whole of January. Hopefully taking the FTMO challenge in February when sort of like things are kind of normal-ish. Okay. So let's just jump on the charts and let me explain to you the hell I'm on about. Okay, so right, we are in the charts. Now I'm looking at Euro Yen. It's kind of one of my favorite pairs. But what I want to do is talk about why did this, I've got it in a yellow box, why did this area turn around in this point? And what price action happened in this area if I want to be more precise about it, what price action happened in that area to make price go up. So what I'm doing is I'm finding daily bankers candles. Why is this bankers candles? Because it's the last down move before this big up move. Okay. So when it's pushed the price down, there's a lot of buy orders in this area or sell orders in this area. They want to mitigate out of. Okay. That's how my strategy works. Well, it's a smart money concept strategy. That's how the smart money concept strategy works. Um, so what I want to do is look for what price action took place in this area so I can get that pattern in my head to then make my trades more comfortable, more easy, more faster, that I can just understand the charts a lot more. So what I want to do is also go on the monthly, go on the weekly, and then go on the daily. Why am I doing this? It's because I need to see where price is going. Where do the banks want to go with the price? Okay? So... What I can see here straight away is we've got equal highs above. So to me, equal highs, equal lows are targets. We've also got divergence. You see price going down here on the daily. Price came down into this banker's candle, then had a nice push upwards. So we've got price making lower lows, but we've got the RSI making higher highs, which shows me that smart money had something to do with this price reversal breaking this high and then making more targets with these equal highs. So to me, um, the monthly bias is bullish because if you have a look as well, if you want to do a trend line, which I don't do, but as you can see, price is gradually going up. Where's it going up to? I believe price is going to go up into this area. So have a look, we have a monthly candle up here back in 2008 that hasn't been mitigated yet. They're still in drawdown back in 2008. Okay, guys, so I feel like price wants to make up here and it has, as I said, made nice targets to the upside for them to manipulate. So let's go on to the weekly. 
as I said, it's not an easy strategy to back test. So, let me zoom in. Let's delete this, don't need it. Let's delete that. So, if you're thinking, oh, George, if it's a last down candle before an up, before an up move, or a last up move before a down move, why haven't you looked at this area? Well, that's because price hasn't come down into this area. It might be flagging down. We don't know. Okay, remember, we can't assume anything, but this is the last down candle for this up move. Price flagged down into it and then made a big push up. Okay, so on the weekly, I'm saying it is bullish because until it breaks, this low, if I can draw it on, until it breaks this low, it's still bullish, okay? Because if it breaks this low, that means we've broken structure and now we are going to start looking for sales. This is in the weekly time frame. So we're bullish on a monthly, we're bullish on a weekly, let's go on to a daily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into replay mode and figure out why did price reverse in this area, okay, and what I need to look for. And why am I doing it in this area is because this daily bankers candle is the last down move before this big up move. And if you have a look, it has created equal highs, okay, it's created equal highs. So to me, this is a target, people will be looking at this area for... Uh, resistance um, as like a ceiling that price can't go past so they'll have their stop losses over there which means that there will be a lot of liquidity in that area that they want to take okay so price flag down into this daily bankers candle now what I'm going to do is what I would do normally is I'll set an alert and then when price enters this area I'll observe price action if you have a look price would have entered my area but one two three four days before price actually got out of that area so there is no rush in this area it does take time but let me just show you what i mean so let's just go into replay mode let's just cut it off from there and let's just okay price has hit my area i've got an alert it's come through now let's just observe price action so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to drop down to like maybe a one hour time frame and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for proof because this yellow box is that daily area. Okay, I want to look for proof of price wanting to reverse. So let's just go for it. Let's keep going through. Let's just go down to a 15. See what else we got. Okay, so what we're seeing price has come down into this area. Right, so we've got price stepping down. But if we have a look at our RSI, we've got price stepping up. So we've got divergence, which means smart money's taking control. They're pushing price down, but buying along the way. Okay, so I can see there's a big down move before a big up move. Okay, so also what we have is price has broken structure because price is taking out these highs. It's taken out these highs and it's made more targets. Okay, so we've got a higher high and now a higher low and now a higher high. So what's that doing? It's now price is stepping up. So if I'm sticking to my strategy of going on the last down move before an up move, I want to put my first entry of 1% because I could be wrong, but I'm going to say 1%. Let's check my fibs as well. As you know, my fibs are <clears throat> a discount so most people go for the 15 to 61 percent i like to go for the 71 to 88 percent off and as you can see the candle i'm willing to put my entry on is that candle it fits right in there so it hits my fibs it's broken structure remember this is my trading plan i wrote down everything that i need to look for um so let's just put on my position where I would like to put my trade on. So I'd like to do it there. So I've got a 7.3 pip stop loss. And if I wanted to be conservative, I could have a one to three. That might be TP1. I can see equal highs up here. 
that might be TB2, that's a 1 to 8. And there's more equal highs up here and an unmitigated candle up there. Okay, so I'm just going to go for the Holy Grail. I don't recommend <laughs> you do this because you don't know what price is going to do. But if I back out and let's have a look at the daily time frame, what is your higher time frame point of interest? Where do you think price could go? Well, I'm saying that there's still equal highs up here. Price does want to go up. There are reasons for it to step up, but we don't know how far. We could go to this daily banker's candle, but I'm saying a lot here, that is very achievable. When you look at the daily chart, it's very achievable. Let's drop down to the four hour. Yeah, okay, so you can see the equal highs up here. This is pretty clean price action, so price shouldn't struggle to get past this point. And we do have plenty of equal highs up here as well. So even though this is a 1 to 16, I do believe that it is a very achievable take profit. But again, if I was doing this like fully live, I would just have multiple take profits along the way. But let's just play this out and see, see what the hell happens. And this is how I'm learning to trade the markets. So speed up. So we've been whipped in. Price has gone up. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Because we might have more opportunities. So let's say we're in the trade. It's going up. And want to observe price action. Now a lot of people would have seen this. Broke structure and then closed out their order. They would have panicked. They wouldn't have stuck to their trading plan. But I know there's more reason to go up than there is to come down. If I wanted to be more safe, I can just put my stop loss to break even. And if I would have already hit my first TP, I would have banked in, I don't know, a certain amount of profits anyway. Okay? Remember, I'm only risking 1%. And we're assuming that I'm not going to take multiple profits along the way just for this demonstration. Okay? So price is going up. I understand it is a bit slow, so I do apologize. Let's just speed up a bit. See what happens. I can see price stays in this area quite a lot. <laughs> okay, so what I can see here is a big, and you should have a look, it's happened at half past 10. So if these charts are two hours ahead, which I think they are, that means it happened at half past eight. London open is at 8 a.m. So that could be London manipulation, pushing price down for this big up move. As you see, we've got imbalance here. So I would actually be comfortable in placing another trade in this area. So I would have done that. 15 in time frame, that's a 5.8 pip stop. I'm gonna do it to that wick open. So we've got a six pip stop loss and I'm just gonna have the same TP as my original one, which is up here. We'll just see where it goes. So that is a one to 14. So let's just see how it goes. Whipped in. And it looks like we're off to the races. Right, let's just have a look, see if... Okay, yeah, we've already hit TP on both of them. So that one's done. We zoom out. And we take this. We drag it across. So. That is that that is amazing to me that is like it's taken me so long to get to this level so price came into my key area it showed bullish divergence okay price is stepping down strength was going up i saw my last banker's candle in the key area it's made broker structure because it made a higher high high low and then another higher high got in on that price went up same thing happened again a couple days later over here i think this was over five days this trading plan, so let's say it happened on a Monday, by late Thursday, mid-Friday, yeah, five days, so call it five days, let's just say you did this trade, you got a 1 to 16, you got a 1 to 14, this is a 30% gain in your account by only risking 2%, because I'm a 1% on this one, 1% on that one, 30% gain in your account, and that's one week, okay, that's just five days of trading, so this is what I'm going to be doing going into January, rinse and repeat, understanding why price has reacted in that area, how price has reacted. So when I see it live in the charts, I'll be more confident. 
I'll be more accurate and I'll have my stop losses and entries in the right areas. Because remember, I'm only risking 7% on the first trade and I'm only, I mean, seven pips on the first stop loss and I've only got six pips stop loss on the second one as well. So that's why you can get such high reward to risk trades. I mean, if you didn't want to do this, you could easily have just done it on the daily banker's candle. You would have got a one to two, maybe a one to three. But if you break down, go to lower time frames, understand structure, then you can make, you know, what, you can get 30% of what you would have done on one to three. But I hope this makes sense. I hope you have questions. If you have, join the GG Forex family down below in the, in the Facebook group where we've got like 260 odd people now. It's crazy. So join that. Ask me any questions you want or just DM me on Instagram. All the information is down below. And yeah, this is how I am attacking January. I'll be doing this hours and hours and hours throughout the day, weekends, all that jazz because I want to get this right to start FTMO in February. Fingers crossed I have the money in my account because I've just paid off all my credit cards over Christmas so I'm broke as fuck at the moment. Um, but yeah, so this is how I want to attack it. Remember guys, if you want my cheat sheets and how I enter a trade and do what I want to do, you get all that when you join the group, okay? So, love you all, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.